Chrysostomo's Rolling Tips. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good show and I'm sure that the tips I'm about to give you are gonna only help to improve your game. That's what I'm here for, is to improve your game. Excuse me. Yes. How you doing, what's your name? Fletch. Fletch, nice to meet you, Fletch. I was just wondering if you might be interested in playing a few rounds of bowling with me. Sure. All right. The shoes. The shoes. As you can see, in bowling, you cannot just use your everyday, regular type of shoe. Oh, no. You've got to use the specially aerodynamically equipped, special leather, patented, lubricated, specially designed porous surface that allows you to maximize the use of the lanes on your approach. Anyway, as you can see, not only is the design incredible, but the color, the color pattern is, is also beautiful. And you know, I have some matching underwear at home that would be perfect to go with these shoes. Maybe I could buy a pair of these after the game. Oh, I guess not. They're for rental only. Oh, oh darn. Let me give you a few pointers on selecting the proper ball. You gotta look at the weight, first of all. You want a ball that's not too heavy or not too light. <laughs> See this ball? Much too light. You don't want it too, too light. Gotta have a little bit, a little more weight, but... <laughs> you don't want a ball that's too heavy, either. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry about that. Put your fingers in there, it shouldn't be too loose, it shouldn't be too tight, but just snug enough to... Uh-oh, um... Fletch, can you give me, give me a hand here? A little stuck on the thumb. A little harder. All right, we're almost there. You got your ball picked out? Oh, you, yeah. you like your ball? I like it. You've got a nice ball. Thank you. The purpose of the game is to use this ball to knock down as many of those pins. You ready to do it? I think I can do it. All right. Go for it. Oh, no, no. What is it that you're doing? I'm bowling. Oh. I'm gonna hit those pins down. Oh my goodness. I think we're gonna need a little more work on you, my friend. That's the three-step approach. Check it out. The eight-step hopscotch approach. Then there's the Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight use the force approach. And then there's the granny style mama's boy approach, which is actually no approach at all. You just go up to the baseline, put the ball between your legs, and wing it. Finally, my most favorite approach, the Chrysostomo approach. Named after me, of course. Check it out. Okay, Fletch. Do you think you've gotten something out of these tips? Got a good handle on the game now? I think I kind of got the idea here. Good. So let's say uh, we go ahead and play a game. But how about for steaks? Well, I had steaks in the restaurant over there earlier before you came. Okay, how about something like money? Say $10 per pin for the winner. Mm, I think I can handle that. <laughs> Easy money. Oh, I mean, this will be a good game. All right. Well, uh, you first. Oh, 
Excuse me. Hey, your, your fly's open. Really paying off. Yeah, hey Fletch, what's that? Oh, uh, what? Oh, it looks like I'm ready to roll now. Be my guest. Here we go. What the hell? Okay, Fletch, listen up. It's the tenth plane. You need to get a spare or better to win. Anything less, you lose. Got that? Good luck. edition of Chrysostomo Chronicles. I hope you found my bowling tips helpful and informative, and I would like to leave you with one last thought. It's not whether you win or lose, but whether you have to pay your bet. Hey, Chrysostomo. Hey. How's the bowling game? Bowling sucks. <laughs> <laughs>